Hi everyone, my name is Zeng Mingyi. I'm from National University of Defense Technology. Now let me introduce my work, a universal constructor to implement concurrent data structure for your multicore. Concurrent data structures used everywhere, such as Linux kernel, libraries, and applications. There are many methods to implement concurrent data structures such as log-free, fine-grounded method, and uh, un universal construct. The, uni the log-free and the fine-grounded method are complex and uh, require modification to the data struct. The universal constructor is uh, attract because it can translate the sequential data struct into the concurrent data struct. However, the existing universal constructor either suffers from high copy overheads or humor obvious design or right side overheard. To address the above problems, we design a new universal construct called CR. The CR provides efficient right side performance and provides scalable right side performance on humor multicore. The CR relies n plus 1 replicas of the data struct where n is the number of human loads, reader writer lock, delegation and share lock. The purpose of this design is to make it possible for the plot server thread to acquire an available replica in exclusive mode while leaving one replica in share mode. To provide efficient read performance, they are keep one up to date replica for read-only access at all times. This is achieved such that each replica has an associated reader-writer lock, which enables CR to keep at all times the most recent rep replica protected with a share lock. This design enables the execution of read-only operation to be done in isolation without any synchronization. To provide human-aware write performance, they are use a share lock to synchronize the cross loads threads and use delegation to synchronize local threads. Yum aware write can reduce cross loads traffic. This is the struct chart of our MERS CR. Writers within a human load use delegation to access the replica for delegation. The writers are divided into server and clients. The server executes the requests on behalf of clients. The writers from different human loads keep synchronization by using a share lock. That is to see. The replicas keep consistent with a share lock. In the meantime, all the readers can access the most recent replica with the pointer called curl replica which is the green word. When the writer updates a replica, it transitions the curl replica from old replica to the new one. Therefore, the curl replica is always the up-to-date replica. In summer, it has three steps. The first is Delegation within a load. The, the second is a share lock across loads. The third is a replica for read only access. Let's see the first step delegation. In human load 1, read 4 is the server and the right one, right two, and the right three, and the are clients. The server, the server gets exclusive access to replica one to execute an update operation. The first, they first publish their requests with update operations, and then the server collects this requests. Finally, the server allocated 
allocate free entries from the share lock and write this request into the entries. The second step is share lock. After doing that, the server applies the read request of the share lock on the replica one and it adds LTL by four. Each replica has a variable called LTL indicating where the next update starts. The share lock has a variable called GTL indicating the starting position of the next three entries to be allocated. Because replica 1 now is the most re recent replica, so the server transition curl replica from replica 2 to replica 1 so as to make readers access the up-to-date one. Therefore, now replica 1 is for read-only access and uh, replica 2 is available for exclusive access. For human load 2, it has the same steps as in the human load 1. The writer 7 is the server and get exclusive for replica 3 to execute requests. The server collects request 5, request 6, and request 7. And then allocate 3 free entries from the share lock. Finally, it fills the allocated free entries with these requests. After doing that, the server first synchronized replica 1 by executing the read requests of the share lock and then executes the blue requests of the share lock on the replica 3. Because the replica 3 is up to, up to date, it transition cut replica from replica 1 to replica 3. Our experiments on the server with two human load. Each load has 14 cores. Each core has two hardware threads and there are totally 56 hardware threads. For skip list priority queen with 10% updates, for the picture, the vertical line indicating using more than one human load. When beyond a human load, our method CR is significant than other methods. At the max threat, CR is 2.1 times better than log-free method and 5.4 times better than the state-of-the-art universal constructor CX10. This implies our benefit of inficial right and human aware right. This is the really application with 2.2% updates. From the picture, we can see CR is 18.1 times better than the original version. This implies our benefit of inflation rate. 
conclusion, CR works well due to the following three points. The first is to keep one update to date replica for read only access at all times. The second is to use a share lock to synchronize cross load threads. The third is to use the negation to synchronize local threads. Thank you.